All right, so today we're going to take a look at the second method that we might use to calibrate uh, one of our scales. And in this particular case, we're going to use a known good calibrated scale to use the weight value from that scale to calibrate another one. So here on the right, we have our 50 pound scale. It's calibrated with a known test weight of 50 pounds, and we see 50 pounds on the display. So we know that this is properly calibrated and verified to be good. The problem comes in when we don't have the kind of test weight that's required to do this. A very good example of this might be with very large capacity scales like a truck scale. And we have one scale on one side of the yard that is known good calibrated. So we're going to go ahead and, and maybe take a truck that's filled with product and we're going to go weigh it on that other scale and we'll use that value as our calibration weight when we do the span cal. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to remove this weight here. And I've just got some items here to put on the scale. It's 13.37 pounds. So we'll use this for the sake of our example. Now over on the left hand side we've got a 680. It's already been set up as a 50 pound scale but it's clearly not calibrated properly. So we want to use our 13.37 pounds as our substituted weight here. So let's hop into the menu on the 680. We'll come down under our setup and we'll come down under config to see the capacity we verify that that's set for 50 pounds. We'll go over to our calibration parameters and come down. This is where we'll see the W0. We'll go ahead and hit tear to execute the zero. We have nothing on the scale. And we get a good result from that. We'll go to our WVAL. And here's where we're going to go ahead and plug in our 13.37 that we're seeing on the known good scale. So we'll just uh, we'll hit 13.37. We'll hit tear to accept that value. Now at this point, we want to make sure that we go ahead and put that weight on the scale. So I'm going to move these from this scale over to here. Let's go ahead and move this over here so we can see it for now. And then we'll go ahead and execute our span. That shows that it's OK. Let's go ahead and back up out of here, hit menu to save and exit. And we have 13.37 on our display.